Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at customizing the app drawer on your Note 8. So we're going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and here is our app drawer. Now right now I have done no customization. I have just downloaded a few apps from the Play Store. You can see that they've all been kind of placed wherever they ended up landing. Whichever app was downloaded first kind of got positioned where, where it lied. So now what we can do in the top right hand corner if we tap on the three little dots, we can tap sort and we have the custom order which is currently in or the alphabetical order. So now all the apps are in alphabetical order a regardless of when they were downloaded. What's nice about doing the actual uh, custom order is that if I tap and hold on an app icon I can actually move it around wherever I want it to go. So here now I've put that one in that's position so now we can, I can customize it. I'm more of someone that likes to have all my apps in alphabetical order so just leaving it that way whenever we download a new app it will just put it in alphabetical order. And notice in this mode when we do alphabetical order, it also does the folders first. So folders are alphabetical order first, and then any app not in a folder will be alphabetized secondly. Now if we come to the top right hand corner again, we'll go ahead and do our settings. This will be our home screen settings, and we can actually customize our app's screen grid. So right now it's set to 5x6, but if we do a 4x6, you see we get larger app icons, but fewer on the screen. And if we come to a 5x6, which it is by default, we have more app icons on the screen, but they're a little bit smaller. So you can choose your options there, whichever one you like or prefer better. Now if you wanted to make some folders, all you have to do is tap and hold on an app icon, and then drag it over another app, and you see it kind of makes a little outline. Let go of your screen, and now these are in a folder. So if I were to name this folder, say games, for example, I'll just go ahead and type in games, and then tap done, and it's going to name that folder. We can even add in new apps, and then tapping on the paint palette up here will actually allow us to give the folder kind of a color. So when we're done, we'll tap the back icon. You see games is now a blue folder, and it's been pinned in front of Google because we have everything in alphabetical order. But if we were to go back into sort and choose, say, a custom order, we can actually move that folder around wherever we want to. So I can actually move this folder all the way down to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and now everything is in the order I want it to be in. And if we ever wanted to remove a folder, all we have to do is tap and hold on the folder itself, delete the folder, and it's going to just put the app icons back where they were going. If you had it in a custom order, the app icons would end up on the second screen all the way at the bottom. But because I have everything alphabetized, it went back into alphabetical order. And we can also delete the two folders that came with the device itself. So the Samsung one, we can delete that folder. We can also delete the Google folder as well. And then notice now we have a lot more apps that populate our app drawer. What's also great about any one of these apps, if we were to tap and hold on it, you notice we can actually select multiple items. So if I wanted to actually create a folder, I can do so. And if I wanted to uninstall the apps, I can tap uninstall as well. So if I tap create folder, it's going to add all those app icons to a folder. And I can give the folder a name based upon what I've added in there. Now what's also nice is I can take any one of these apps. I can add the shortcut to the home screen, sleep the app, uninstall it, and even view app info, which is going to bring me into my settings and show me all the detailed information for that specific application. So I thought that was pretty neat that we can do that as well. And there is also search the phone. I can actually search my entire device. It will even show me suggested apps based upon my app usage or any apps that I might have recently installed from the Google Play Store. Make sure and give your device permission to go ahead and search your phone. And we can even filter what we're looking for, such as by type or by time. And there is also the option of tapping the microphone to use your voice to search instead of having to type it in with the keyboard. And the one last section up here, it will tap on the top right hand corner. Go to Galaxy Essentials, and this will be the Galaxy Essentials App Store. These are apps that are fully optimized to take advantage of your screen resolution and all of the device profiles for your Galaxy Note 8. Some of these are specific to Samsung, such as the Gear Manager. You will need to have a Samsung Gear device to actually use with that. But again, this is the Galaxy Essential Store. Some of these are available on the Google Play Store, but getting them from here will actually take advantage of the full device applications, such as, say, Amazon Prime right here. It says we can watch in HDR if we download it here from Galaxy Essentials, where that might not be an option by downloading Prime Video from the Google Play Store. So again, check this out if you want to, but for the most part some of these should be available in the Google Play Store if you rather download them from there. Some of them are device applications that we will need to use here on this section because they are Samsung applications. 
So the last area we're going to look at here in the app section is going to be our Galaxy Essentials. This is kind of an app store that Samsung has put together of applications that take full advantage of your Note 8 hardware. Some of these are made by Samsung, so we will need to update them through here. But for example, as we swipe down, we're going to see Prime Video. This one takes advantage of the HDR capabilities of your Note 8, which might not be available in the Google Play Store. So if you download it from here, you'll be able to take full advantage of the HDR screen and watch all those videos back on your Note 8 in full HDR beauty. And there are other ones down here below that are taking full advantage of your device hardware as well. But for the most part, some of these are going to be for Samsung apps, like for example, this Samsung Gear Manager. You will need to have a Gear device to use this application. There would be no point in downloading it otherwise. But some of these, again, Samsung has put out to actually take full advantage of the Note 8 hardware. So go ahead and take a look through here and see if any of these actually interest you and go ahead and download them from this actual Galaxy Essential Store or just visit the Google Play Store to download them otherwise. And they will all be added here into the app drawer. So this is how you customize the app drawer on your Note 8. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful, and we'll see you in the next one.